Hi, welcome back with me Plant Do Home and Garden. This time, I'll give you video about top 5 best plants for fence line privacy. Well, before go to the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for supports this channel. Also, you can turn on the bell for more updated videos. Okay, let's go to the video. Do you need more privacy? Here are the best fence line privacy plants to delimit your garden with. Fences are a key part of most homes. This is because they provide security. Unfortunately, as the world has evolved, there is simply no way to be safe without building some kind of fence, gate, border, or wall around your home. If you prefer something natural over metal or wood, here are some of the best plants you can use to create a natural fence around your home. Number 1. Cactus. We kick off our list of best plants for fence line with something you don't see every day. Nor is it common. Cacti actually work as a fence line since you can line them up one beside the other. And, if you hate people climbing up over your fence, this is a good way to prevent them. The spikes of the cacti make them natural barriers to entry and exit when used as fences. And, you'll be glad to know there are tons of different species of this succulent that you can choose from. Each has a different look and shape as well as height. Cactus plants are likewise great because they don't need a lot of maintenance. You likewise don't need to water them often as well. And, they're used to getting lots of sunlight and warm conditions. Number 2. Boxwood. You've probably seen them around homes with some towering as tall as walls. Boxwood are an amazing shrub that are perfect for fence lines as well as privacy walls. If you don't like erecting concrete walls, they're a good option. With over 70 different boxwood species to choose from you want to avoid those that are too small. Some dwarf versions only get to about 2 feet tall. That's probably too low for a fence. But, others can grow as high as 8 feet high. So, it is up to you on how tall you want the fence you actually get to. Number 3. Privet. Privet is another great bush that's perfect for bordering your property for privacy. It is much like boxwood but has a different look and texture to it. But, they're much easier to shape despite their density. Do note that privet are not evergreens. So, they work best during the summertime. In the fall, they'll change colors and drop leaves much like many trees do. One of the awesome things about privet is that they attract butterflies and bees. This makes them great to have if you want to welcome more pollinators to your backyard or garden. Privet can grow from between 4 to 15 feet tall. They likewise produce flowers which some other hedges don't. Number 4. Clematis. Clematis are somewhat different from boxwood and privet. That's because they're vines and not hedges. As such, you can't just plant them on the ground and expect them to grow into a dense wall or fence. Instead, they will cover a structure to create a beautiful layer of flowers and foliage that will make a wall or fence stunning to look at. As with many other plants, there are a variety of clematis plants available. This lets you choose the colors and sizes of the blooms you want based on the look you're going for. Since they can grow to over 10 feet tall depending on the species, it is easy to train them to cover certain areas. You can likewise prune them to keep them shorter in other spaces. Number 5. Forsythia. Are you tired of green? If you are and want to add a splash of other colors to your fence line or property border, try out Forsythias. These flowering shrubs have a goldish-yellow tone to them that makes them unique to look at. And, they do get bushy as well. This means you can let them grow into thick, dense rows to line the sides of your yard. Or, you can prune them to look like well-trimmed hedges. Either way, they look amazing. Forsythias can get to between 2 to 10 feet high. They do best in USDA hardiness zones 5 to 8. And are non-toxic to people and animals. Once they're established, they can tolerate droughts and don't need a lot of water. So, you may not need to water too frequently unless your areas doesn't experience much rainfall. Thanks for watching my video about top 5 best plants for fence line privacy.
If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for supports our channel. Well, see you in the next videos.